by your teachers. Uh, this question, um, you see it here, it's saying what number is represented by this expanded form? The meaning of that, that means they give us the expanded form and they need that we transfer it to standard form. That's why we call it expanded to standard form. And again, this question, uh, we are not allowed to use a calculator. So the bad thing that, that we understand something here that if I multiply, let's say any number like three times uh, 100, all I'm doing is I'm repeating the same number and I'm adding how many zeros after. So the same thing here, I'm gonna do it step by step. So I see this three and I'm multiplying by one million. So that means six zero and it's better to keep gap with each three digits. So it's gonna make it easier for us when we add at the, at the end. The two, and I'm gonna add four zeros, that means 20,000. So four zeros, that means one, two, three, and four, and I mark the two. Uh, next one, seven times thousand. Again, zero, 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 and seven. Uh, nine hundred, again, 100, and nine, uh, six times 10, 60, so zero and six, eight times one, eight. So if I write it with this way, and I'm trying to be very organized, so eight and under all this zero, it's gonna be eight, six with all this zero, it's gonna be six, nine with all the zeros, it's gonna be nine. After that, I leave some gap, seven and two zeros, it's gonna be seven, two and zero is gonna be two, zero, and three. So that means three million, 27,968. So if I go to all this question, uh, I need to make sure that uh, I will not be confused between some numbers because they are matching uh, together with small change. So as you can see, question B, it's correct. Three million, 27,968, and this is the right answer. I hope you understood this question. Thank you for listening.